oppose government-run health care and seek to protect the liberty of American patients. In order to fix health care, we need our patients and their doctors, not Washington, to make health care decisions. The Republican Party supports common sense reforms that will lower costs and ensure quality health care for all Americans. No healthcare professional or organization should be required to perform, provide, withhold, or refer a medical service against their will. This is particular for the religious organizations that provide a major portion of America's healthcare. Part of the reason why this issue is so important to us is that a government-run healthcare will lead to inefficiencies in the system. Health insurance is so expensive because state legislatures require provision of benefits that many families don't need. Our goal is to boost funding for community health centers and establish stronger public-private partnership for safety net and hospitals for the underserved communities. Healthcare opportunities. Reforming malpractice laws. Healthcare for pre-existing conditions. Saving tax money. We support the ability of all organizations to provide, purchase, or enroll in healthcare coverage consistent with their religious, moral, or ethical convictions without discrimination or penalty. We also support the right of parents to consent to medical treatment for their children, including medical, mental health treatment, drug treatment, and treatment involving pregnancy, contraceptives, and abortion. We urge enactment of pending legislation that would require parental consent to transport girls across state lines for abortions. Healthcare should be tailored to suit the needs of the individual. No more one-size-fits-all healthcare! The safety of our towns and cities depends on supporting our communities and ensuring strong family values protected by a well-trained police force. Criminals behind bars cannot harm the general public. Prisons must be more than punishment. They need to stop criminals from repeating their actions. Religious institutions such as the Prison Fellowship have proven track records in rehabilitating prisoners. Putting the prisons back under the care of public officials will cut costs and reduce recidivism. I used to be a convict, but not anymore. The Prison Fellowship helped me realize the error of my ways, and I was never arrested again. What's the problem with our criminal justice system? The over-federalization and over-criminalization of offenses. Let's take that power out of the hands of Congress and return it to the elected officials of the state. Our children are unique. Education should not be a mold into which we throw our children. I'm unique. I'm unique. I'm unique. Schools need to have options. Full day school hours, year round schools, single sex classes, and other local innovations to best suit the needs of the children. An overly standardized education system is impersonal and cannot cater to specific needs of children. However, Families, teachers, and administrators can assess the best methods of education for specific children and employ them to help the future leaders of America grow to their fullest potential. There are certain essentials of education. Literacy plays an integral role in success. Thus, we support family literacy programs that promote reading, language skills that will translate to success later in life for low-income families so that everybody has an equal chance to succeed. We're committed to the inclusion of Americans with disabilities, which are common in our everyday society. If any citizen with a disability needs treatment, they should be able to get the best care possible. We oppose those withholding the care of specific individual based on their conditions and status. Because of this, we oppose euthanasia and assisted suicide because it is usually conducted without the consent of the individual. We must aid children with disabilities and minimize the margins from their peers, which is why we support acts such as IDEA, which open up new opportunities for these students. We even push for preventative efforts in earlier years so that disabled children can move beyond IDEA's protection when they start school. Republican-led welfare reforms enacted in 1996 have been the most successful laws dealing with poverty. Laws that have since been undone by their aggressive laws passed by the Democrats. The basic motto is this, welfare should be a hand up, not a hand out. This is why we support work requirements in order to access welfare, to make sure we're helping the people who really need it and deserve it. 
through systems that reward the hardworking. I managed to climb from poverty into a job position where I can live a comfortable middle class life. Because of systems that punish the idle, I can't lead your hard earned tax money.